Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and blowing the Lockheed C-130H Hercules. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is an American 4-engine turboprop military transport aircraft designed and built originally by Lockheed, now Lockheed Martin. Capable of using unprepared runways for takeoffs and landings, the C-130 was originally designed as a troop, medevac, and cargo transport aircraft. The versatile airframe has found use uses in a variety of other roles, including a gunship for airborne assault, um, search and rescue, scientific research support, weather reconnaissance, aerial refueling, maritime patrol, and aerial firefighting. It is now the main tactical airlifter for many military forces worldwide. More than 40 variants of the Hercules, including civilian version marketed as the Lockheed L-100, operate in more than 60 nations. The C-130 entered service with the U.S. in 1956, followed by Australia and many other nations. During its years of service, the Hercules family has participated in numerous military, civilian, and human humanitarian aid operations. In 2007, the C-130 became the fifth aircraft to mark 50 years of continuous service with its original primary customer, which for the C-130 is the United States Air Force. The C-130 Hercules is the longest continuously produced military aircraft at over 60 years with the updated Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules currently being produced. So yeah, the um, C-130 Hercules, probably one of the most iconic aircraft you're going to really see. This thing has seen service going all the way back to Vietnam and has been a absolute workhorse for many militaries around the world. Uh, the aircraft itself is kind of a you know ugly looking aircraft but it, at the same time it's still got a beauty to it um the fact of just how good and capable of an aircraft this really is and the fact that this aircraft is really well designed it's structurally very well um i mean this thing this thing is a brick uh just an absolute flying uh, brick in the sky um, so yeah, really happy to, you know, come and uh, revisit the C-130. I had a tutorial a very long time ago on the channel, um, and I decided to go ahead and revamp the C-130. As we're going to be going ahead and using this a bit as a base model to kind of base our future C-130 tutorials on, so we're going to be going ahead and modifying um, this design to make the other models, such as the Coast Guard version, the C-130J, and hopefully we'll see like EC-130s and just kind of different uh, versions of the C-130 in future use. So I'm really excited for that and uh, that should be really cool to kind of use this as a baseline and do some really cool add-on tutorials to really kind of make the C-130 look pretty cool. Um, but with that, let's kind of go ahead and talk about um, basically the aircraft. So uh, take a look at it. We have both obviously the in-flight and landed versions for the aircraft. For the landed version as well, we do have an included um, landing ramp lowered so you can have the uh, landing ramp lowered and make some cool scenes or something like that out on your um, worlds. But begin with, we are going to take a look at the in-flight version so kind of get a better look at the everything. Uh, we have the front of the aircraft here, came out pretty nice, uh, cockpit, all that stuff. As you progress on the sides here, um, we have the U.S. Air Force markings on the side here, various markings on the side, windows, all that stuff. And on the left side here, we have the door uh, for the crew to embark. Um, the little hatch on the top here for the roof for uh, getting to the top of the aircraft, also evacuating. And uh, the four engines here, this one also does have the fuel tanks uh, in between the uh, engines here. Kind of on the pylons there, very common for um, some of the C-130s to actually have those. As you progress uh, further, we have the cables here that run to the tail, kind of tells you this is a H, um, as the J models, which are uh, the new ones, do not have the cables and they also have the different props there. Uh, but continuing further back, we have uh, the rear kind of paratrooper doors uh, located here on both sides, a little national star insignia on the side there. We get to the tail, we have the tail flash uh, with the yellow stripe for the center, the AMC Air Mobility Command. Magic comment belongs to, um, at least this one in particular, and then you have the tail number on both sides there. So, overall, pretty gorgeous aircraft. Thing came out really good. Obviously, we do have a landed version included as well, so you will have the option to uh, put the landing gear on and have this landed at your uh, air bases and all that kind of stuff. So, overall, really nice aircraft. I think it's going to be a awesome addition to whatever scenes you guys are working on. I mean, the C-130 belongs to many militaries around the world and can easily be modified into several different variants. So you can really create some cool stuff with this just base model alone. 
Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer 1. Now, one thing I want to mention here before we go ahead and get started is if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're building the entire center line of the aircraft, and then everything that will be on the right side of the fuselage. It'll be then up to you guys to take what we did on the right side, flip it over to the left side. It's pretty straightforward, and once we kind of get through the... Um, few layers, uh, first few layers, should make a little bit more sense of what we're doing here, uh, but really it isn't anything too complex and really shouldn't be any um, major issues and everything like that. This build is, for the most part, um, as I remember, if I remember correctly, completely symmetrical, so whatever you do on one side will be the same on both sides, so it should be pretty easy, um, except for the uh, crew door, which is only mounted on the left side of the aircraft, but other than that, it's going to be pretty much exactly the same on both sides. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here for this build. Now, the first thing uh, we want to do is if you do want to build the uh, landed version, we, need to, we do need to make sure that we position this the correct height off the ground. Now, if you're building the landed version, you want to make sure that this first layer, layer 1 here, is going to be one block off the ground. The landing gear will be added on at the end of the tutorial as a modification to the in-flight version, so just stay tuned for that if you are interested in the landed version. However, uh, with that, let's go ahead and continue on. Again, one block of space off the ground if you're building it landed, if you're building it in-flight, then build it however high you want. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and place down a stone block, and then this is going to be followed by a total of 31 stone blocks back. So in total, you're going to have a row of 32 stone blocks in total. That's going to be running down your center line here. Then toward the direction of the front of the build, so we're going to have our aircraft facing that way, we're going to place down two stone top slabs, and in the direction toward the rear here, we're going to place down one stone top slab. So you should have something that looks like this here, for your center line. After that, go ahead and move into the sides here. We're going to go to our front of our aircraft. So up here, we're going to place down the iron trap door to the side of that uh, block there. And we then want to go and go back with it or back from it with a stone top slam. And we're going to then place down a second stone top slam. We're going to then follow this up and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31 stone upstairs and downstairs back, and then a stone top slab. So, again, just to double check our count here, we should have a total of 31 stone upstairs and downstairs along the side there. After we get to this point here, we're going to then go ahead and count back. So, uh, going ahead and counting back from the iron trap door, we have our two stone top subs, so one, two, and then we get in our stairs, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and our fifteenth block here, and we're going to place down an iron trap door to the side. We're going to go ahead and place down a second iron trap door back, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stone top subs, then one and two iron trap doors, and then after that we're going to then place down an iron trap door to the side here. And then go forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, stone uh, top slabs, a iron trap door, like that. And then go into the side here, we're going to count back 1, 2, 3, and then our fourth stone top slab, we're going to place down an iron trap door at the side. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 stone top slabs back, so you have a row of 6 there. After we have that all done, uh, that's going to basically do it for what we have here for layer 1. Here's what it should look like from up above, top down view. And with that, that is going to basically uh, complete layer 1 for us. And you'll take what we do over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have that completed look for layer 1. With that though, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 2. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving into our next uh, layer here, we have layer number 2. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to the front of the aircraft. We're going to place down a stone block that goes up from the stone top slab, just like so. Kind of at an angle like that for the front. We're going to go ahead and place down an additional stone block here, stone top slab, and a polished black stone top slab like that for the front there of our aircraft. We're going to go ahead and move to the rear here and do our center line. So we're going to go to the center top slab right here, go up from it at an angle, place down a polished downside block, and then a polished downside top slab like so. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start working our way out to the side, starting with the front here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a stone top slab, coming off this one right here in the front, and then we want to go and go back from it with a stone upside down stair, and then after the stone upside down stair, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a stone full block. We're going to go and then place down a second stone full block on top of that iron trap door. When we get to this point here, we want to go and then place down a block that's going to be kind of above this space here, and then coming down in front of the stone stair here, we're going to place down an end rod like so, and then delete the block on top of it like that. Once we get to this point, uh, we want to go and then place down a stone top slab after the end rod, Stone upside down stair, and then a row of one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 stone uh, full blocks back. And I'm going to go and double check my count here to make sure that I didn't mess up at all. And we do have 34 stone blocks in total going back. Once we get to this point here on the back, we're going to, go and to place down a polished andesite to full block. And then a polished andesite top slab in the space in between our center line here and this row here. We can just go and place down our polished andesite block. And our top slab like that on the back there to go and finish that off. After we have that done, go ahead and move into our sides here. We're going to go ahead and go to the side. And we want to go ahead and go to our second stone block from the front here. So this one here. We're going to place down a stone top slab. And then from that stone top slab, we're going to be placing down a row of stone ups downstairs. So we're going to go, ahead and go with a row of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stone up down stairs back. And actually, sorry, it's going to be 12. We're going to go and then grab ourselves a polished black stone stair. We're going to place down a polished black stone upside down corner stair, like so. And then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 stone blocks back. After our 16th one, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair. We're going to go ahead and then follow this up and place down a row of two of polished andesite upside down stairs. So we'll go ahead and grab those here. So two polished andesite upside down stairs, stone upside down stair, and then a stone top slab coming off the stair like that on the back there. After that's done, uh, we then want to go and continue working our way out to the sides. And we're going to go next to this polished black stone stair. We're going to place down an iron trap door uh, to the side here of it. And uh, one thing we want to do there is I'm just making sure that that's what we want to do and yeah okay that's so that's good we're just gonna have the iron trap door there uh, we then want to go and grab our walls we're gonna place down two inside walls back and we also want to go and grab a polished or sorry a gray concrete block which is gonna go on the side here and we're gonna have stone buns here on this side and the bottom here that gray concrete block like that after that uh, we want to go and then take our stone full blocks and we're just gonna go ahead and go back from the gray concrete one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great concrete blocks back, or stone blocks back, followed by two uh, inside walls, and then a light gray stained glass pane like that. After that's done, go ahead and go into the very outside here. Uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a stone top slab. That's going to be after the great concrete block, and then one, two, three, four, five, six stone up down stairs back and then a stone top slab like that after that row of six of stone stairs and once we have that all done there we're going to take, take we do on the right side here flip it over to the left side and this is what we should have here for the top down view of layer number two and uh, with that that's going to wrap up this layer and we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer which is going to be layer number three all right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and place down a black concrete block, coming off this polished black stone top slab at a slight angle like this going up, and then a polished black stone top slab coming off this black concrete block like so for the front there. After that, going ahead and moving to the rear of the aircraft, we're going to go up from this polished dance top slab on our center line, so the center of that row of five there. We're going to place down a polished dance full block, and then a polished dance top slab like that to go and make our center line there for the rear. After that's all done, we want to go ahead and then go back up to the front and start working our way out to the sides here. To begin with, we're going to place down a polished black stone top slab. That's a, that will be coming off this black concrete block like so. And then there a black concrete block directly behind that top slab. Coming off this black concrete block here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a top slab of polished black stone. And then a stone upside down stair. And then a stone full block on top of that end rod. Once we have that complete, going ahead and moving to the sides here. We're going to go from this stone block at an angle, place down a stone upside down stair. So like this, and we want to go then place down one, two, and three stone full blocks back, followed by a uh, row of. So here's where it kind of gets different. So over here on the right side, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone full blocks like this on the right side. However, on the left side over here, we're gonna have two polished andesite blocks, a lever flicked upwards on the first block here, and then we're gonna place down two coal ore blocks like that. So you can see here we do have the difference of both sides. Make sure you do take that into account. As the left side here is the door for basically the crew uh, to embark and disembark the aircraft. And then over here we just have the side of the aircraft. Um, so make sure you take those into account uh, that we do have difference there on both sides. Anyways, after both sides here, we're going to just place down additional two stone blocks back. And we're going to go then place down a row of one, two, and three polished andesite blocks. Now on the side there are those three polished andesite blocks. We're going to go and grab ourselves some polished black stone buttons and we're going to place down a row of three across like that. 
We then want to take our stone blocks. We're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 until you get to this stone upside down stair here. And I'm going to go double check our count here to make sure I did this correctly lengthwise, and it is 21 blo blocks back. We then want to place down two polished anti blocks here on the side, and then a lever, which is going to be on this block right here. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down an additional one and two, and uh, actually, sorry, three stone blocks back, and then a stone top slab. Go ahead and fill in the space in toward the middle here. We're going to place down two polished anti blocks that will connect us to the center, and then two polished anti top slabs like that for the back there. Um, so it'll look like this when both sides are complete there for the back. Anyways, once we have that done, continue to work our way out to the sides here. Go into this section, uh, we're going to go and grab a polished andesite stair. We're going to place down an upside down stair that's going to be on top of this iron trap door. And we want the upside down stair to be coming off this uh, stone block like so. Now once we have that done, behind that stair, we're going to place down a black concrete block. At this point here, we're going to go and grab ourselves some iron trap doors. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a debug stick. So using the, command, the give command, we'll go ahead and give ourselves a debug stick. And using the debug stick, we're going to go and place our two iron trap doors on the black concrete and the stone stair. And we're going to go and select our debug stick. We're going to go and select it to the selected open, false. We're going to go and make that true. And for both those iron trap doors, and we'll close them there on both sides. If for some reason you don't have access to a debug stick, you can very simply use dark oak with trap doors. Those will work just fine in that case as a uh, alternative. After we get to this point though, we're going to go and take our stone blocks, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 stone blocks back, followed by 1, 2, and side walls, and then a light gray stained glass pane after that. Once that's done, go ahead and go back up to the front here again, we're going to place down an air and light gray, and a, or light gray stained glass pane on the side of the stone block, followed by 2 and walls back, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Stone blocks back, and then one, two, and set walls, and then a light gray thing less paint like that to the side there. And once uh, we have that all done, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this layer. Just looking around, make sure I'm not missing anything, and everything does appear to be good. Make sure you're taking into consideration the difference here up in the left front uh, with the door, and also the little markings there with the core blocks. But anyways, this should look like this here once you have this layer complete, and uh, that's what you guys want to have for uh, the top-down view for layer number three. Anyways, once that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for this layer. And let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, which is going to be layer number four. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer here, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the nose of the aircraft here. Going up from this polished black stone top side, we're going to go ahead and angle here and place down a polished black stone upside down stair. And that's all you need to do there for the front center line. Going ahead and moving into the back, just like we've been doing, we're going to go ahead and go up from the center top slab, and we're going to place down a polished andesite block, up at an angle, and then a top slab coming off that block, like so, so the continued pattern there on the rear. Anyways, once that's done, going back up to the front here, we're going to start working our way out to the side. Coming off this stair here, we're going to place down an air polished black stone up down stair coming off it like this, going back, and then a black concrete block coming off that uh, stair like so. In this section here, we're going to place down another polished black stone up down stair on both sides there, and then a black concrete block directly after that stair. We then want to place down two stone full blocks going back, a andesite wall on the second one, and we're going to then grab ourselves a, a light gray stained glass paint and put it on the first block there. We would then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls and some end rods. We're going to be going ahead and going to the sides here, wherever end rods are located, which I think they're, yep, here they are. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on the side of that inside wall, and then a end rod coming off like that on the side there. Uh, after that, going ahead and go back from the inside wall, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone full blocks back. We're going to then switch out this, or after the fourth stone block, we're going to place down an inside wall, and then one and two uh, light gray stainless panes going forward. At this point here, uh, on the right side here, we're going to place down a row of one and two stone upside down stairs. Over here on the left side, we have the door, and we're going to go ahead and place down two polished andesite upside down stairs in line with those two polished andesite full blocks. So the difference there on both sides, and that's pretty much about it. Anyways, once we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and take our stone stairs. We just want to go ahead and then go back one, two, three, and four. Stone upside down stairs back, followed by a polished andesite upside down stair, stone upside down stair, and then a polished andesite upside down stair. So doing the same thing there on both sides as of right now. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three stone upside down stairs. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a polished blackstone stair and place down a polished blackstone upside down stair here. 
And then after that, we want to go in and then take our stone blocks. And we're going to switch to a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Stone full blocks back. We're going to go an additional two back, so we should have a row of 16 stone full blocks back. We're going to go and then place tiny stone up downstairs. And then another brick up downstairs here for the window. And then a polished anisite up downstairs. One thing I do want to mention is if you do plan on doing an interior for this aircraft, um, you can go ahead and use a black uh, stained glass block um, in this spot instead of the nether brick stair. Uh, the reason we're using the nether brick stair is because it does fit a little bit better with the actual flow of the aircraft. Um, so as you can see, it fits better with the flow. Um, but if you are doing an interior, I do recommend just using a black stained glass block so you do have the visibility from, you know, being able to look outside the uh, aircraft. However, um, for our aircraft here, aesthetically more pleasing is the narrow brick up sound stair there for that window on the door. Anyways, after we have that done, uh, we're going to then take our stone stairs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four. And we're going to go ahead and place down a fifth stone up sound stair back. And we're going to then place down a stone top slab. After that, going ahead and going back from the stone uh, up sound stair there. We're going to place down a stone full block and then a stone top slab. And then we just want to go and take our polished andesite, place down two polished andesite blocks. And then two polished andesite top slabs like that. Come out of those blocks to go ahead and finish off the back, which will look something like this here for the rear of the aircraft. Anyways, once we have that all done, we do have one thing to cover also. Actually, uh, my bad, we do have one more thing on the side here. Um, so on the side of the uh, kind of land landing gear... Um, pods here on the side of the aircraft. We're going to go up from this wall, we're going to place down a light gray uh, glass pane. And then one and two in the side walls back. We're going to go then take our stone full blocks here. And we want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Stone full blocks back, two in the side walls back, and then a light gray stainless block directly after that. So uh, that's how it should look. They're on both sides there for uh, those kind of wheel pods there on the side of the aircraft. Now once we get to this point here, uh, we do have basically those iron trap doors there which are going to be the start of our um, kind of external fuel tanks I guess you can say for the aircraft. Now to go ahead and get started with this, we're going to be going ahead and going to this andesite wall right here on the side and we're going to go and count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 blocks to the side here. Same thing over here, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then at this point here we're going to grab an iron trap door, we're going to place down an iron trap door on the top portion of the block so like that and we want to go ahead and then go back it's gonna be a total of one two three four five six and seven back so we have one two three four five six and seven back just like that so it should be a row of eight in total Let's see actually one two three four five six actually one more so you have a row of eight like that on both sides and you'll go ahead and take that to both sides here's what it'll look like from up above here for this layer when it's complete and we do want to go ahead and also delete these um, blocks here as we won't be needing them in the future layers. Anyways though, with that all complete, that is going to wrap up, wrap it up for this layer. Just double check to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go. So uh, with that, that's going to conclude uh, layer number four for the build. Again, here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, which will be layer number five. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer here, we have layer number 5. One thing I want to cover before we go ahead and jump into this layer is that next to this polished black stone stair from the previous layer, we should have a wither skeleton skull on both sides there of the nose, so as you can see, like that, just coming off both sides of the stair. After that though, we're going to then place down a polished black stone stair on top of this one, so going ahead and getting started with the center line here for layer number 5. After that, going ahead and going to the rear, just like we've been doing, we're going to go, and go to the center polished NSA top side. We're going to place down a polished NSA block that goes up from at an angle, and then a polished NSA top side that comes off that block, like so. So again, the continued same design we've been doing for the past few layers there for the rear center. After that, though, going ahead and moving to our sides here, we're going to go and start off by going ahead and placing down a wither skeleton school to both sides of this polished black stone stair, and then a black concrete block here in the corner space, just like that. After that's done, we're going to then place down a polished black stone stair on top of this upside down one here. And then also a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of the stair facing forward like so. We then want to place down a stone block after that stair there. And we're going to then place down two black stained glass blocks back. And then to the side here, two narrow brick walls coming off those black stained glass blocks. And we also want to place down a light gray stained glass pane on the side of this stone block here. Now coming off this uh, block here, we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull and then also an end rod coming off like that on the side there for those little instruments. 
Uh, when we get to this point here, also, if you do want to uh, not have an interior for the aircraft, I do recommend kind of covering the um, black stained glass blocks up with black concrete like that, just to kind of close them off so you can't actually see into the kind of void, uh, which will be the inside of the aircraft. Uh, but again, that's up to you guys if you want to keep those open. If you do want to do an interior, then you're more welcome to keep those open. Um, for yourself. Um, anyways, after we get to this point here, we're going to go back to the narrow brick walls. One, two, and three stone full blocks. We're going to then place down an andesite wall here on the third one, and then we want to go and go forward from it, placing down two like gray stained glass blocks. After that, we're going to place down a narrow stone block here. We're going to go ahead and switch to polished andesite. We're going to place down, uh, or sorry, actually on, on the right side here, we're going to place down two more stone blocks, even row three. And over here on the left side, we're going to go and place down two polished andesite blocks on top of those two stairs, like that over here on the left side. Anyways, once we get to this point here on both sides, we're going to then go back by two stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a black stained glass pane, or sorry, full block, a stone block, polished andesite block, a black stained glass block, polished andesite block, stone block, a black stained glass block, stone block, and then a black concrete block on top of that polished black stone stair. Now again, like we did for the front there, if you don't want to do an interior for the building, just go ahead and close these windows off with some black concrete behind them to kind of black them out. Anyways, continuing on from this point here, we're going to then go to our stone blocks. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 stone blocks back, followed by two polished andesite blocks. And we then want to go ahead and continue this on by taking our stone blocks and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 stone blocks back, followed by 7, and then a polished, or sorry, a stone top slab. In the space in between here, we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow stone full block and a narrow stone top slab, like so. And we then want to take our polished andesite, place down one, two, right here, and one, two top slabs, like that. And that right there is going to complete your fuselage here for this layer. So it should look something like this here from up above, uh, disregarding the black concrete uh, covering the windows if you are wanting to do an interior. Anyways, uh, once we get to this point here, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished black stone buttons in the side here, these polished andesite blocks here. We're going to place down our buttons there on the sides. When that's all done, uh, going ahead and continuing on, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and building our kind of fuel pylon or our uh, fuel pod that we have on the side of the aircraft here. So uh, for this to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go take our stone blocks and we're going to go ahead and go to this row of iron trapdoors. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone blocks like that. Now once we get to this point here, um, just double checking here to make sure I do this right. We're going to want to go ahead and go toward the direction toward the front of the aircraft. We're going to place down a stone upside down, or a stone full block and then a stone upside down stair. The direction toward the rear here, uh, we're going to place down two stone full blocks going back, followed by two stone top slabs. And we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door after that stone top slab, like that. After that's done, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the section here. The stone blocks that are in kind of coordination with the, actually, my bad. Better way to do this is uh, to go ahead and grab our stills, our skeleton skulls, and our andesite walls. On both sides of this stair here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then going back from it, we're going to place down two andesite walls to both sides here. We're going to go then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 stone upside down stairs back. And same thing over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 upside down stairs. And then two andesite walls back on both sides like that. Once we have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some blocks that we can easily tell apart from the aircraft. So for us, we'll just go ahead and grab some yellow concrete as it stands out. We want to go ahead and go off the skeleton skull for the pod here. And we're going to place down three, or we're going to skip three spaces over. So the skeleton skull here, one, two, three. And then we're going to place down an iron trap door and then one more that goes back from it like that. And that'll be the start there of our very bottom of our inner engines. So just like that, again, three blocks coming off this uh, skeleton skull. And then we have our two iron trap doors. We'll go ahead and just delete those blocks like so on both sides. And we'll have those iron trap doors basically good to go. And with that all done, that's going to basically complete what we have here for layer 5. Looking at from above here, this is what we should have for this layer when it's complete. And anyways, with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer here, layer number 6. Alright guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to start off by going ahead and going up from this polished black stone stair here in the front, and we're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor over this space right here. Going off the dark oak trapdoor, we're going to place down a polished, dance, or polished black stone slab, and then a stone block directly behind that polished black stone slab. 
After that's done, that's going to do our center line in there for the front, and you can go ahead and go into the rear here, our center line on the back. We're going to go ahead and place down a polished anti block that goes up from the center top slab there, and then top slab coming off it. So again, just like the previous layers, like that for the back. Anyways, with that done, we're going to then start working our way out to the sides here. Coming off this polished black stone uh, slab here, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door, followed by a narrow stone block here to the side, and then a andesite wall like so. Going back from the andesite wall, we're going to place down two stone blocks. And then we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes there, come off those two stone blocks. We then want to go ahead and grab our coal ore. We're going to place down two coal ore back on both sides, and then one and two stone blocks back from that. Coming off the first coal ore block, we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes, so one on this and then one back, and then a andesite wall right here in this location. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three uh, stone stairs back, a polished black stone stair. A stone stair and a polished black stone stair, and then we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three polished andesite stairs back. And we want to go and then place down a row of one and two stone blocks, a polished andesite block or polished andesite stair, I should say, and then a polished black stone uh, stair, just like that. So it should be like that there on both sides, pretty even. And then we're going to go and switch to our stone blocks, and we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 uh, stone stairs back. I'm going to go and double check my count here. Um, it should be 28. Um, so I did feel like I did a little misclick there. So, um, yep, it is 28 uh, stairs back in total from that polished black stone stair there. Anyways, on the back here, we're going to then place down a stone block on the back of that stair. Stone top slab coming off toward the rear. And then just going to the build to the center, we're going to place down two polished anti blocks and two polished anti top slabs. Just to go ahead and build us to the rear there, like that. After that's all complete, though, uh, we then want to go ahead and start working on our inner engine. So, for this to go ahead and get started with, uh, we want to go ahead and begin with by placing down a polished black stone up downstairs on top of this first iron trap door. So, like this, and then we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of it, like so. We're going to go then place down a stone top slab coming off of it, and then going back from the stone or the polished black stone up downstairs, we want to go ahead and place down two stone blocks two inside walls to both sides of those blocks, a stone upside down stair, skeleton skull to both sides, and then a stone top side like that coming off that uh, stone upside down stair. So uh, pretty simple uh, little design there. That will be the kind of start there of our first engine. Now when we get to this point, we're going to continue work on our pod. We're going to place down a stone stair here, a skeleton skull on both sides of the stone stair, and then going back from the stone stair, we want to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stone full blocks back, two stone slabs, and then a iron trap door like that. We then want to go ahead and go on top of these two innocent walls here, place down two more on top, and we're going to then go back seven stone up downstairs. So just like what we did on the previous layer, just kind of flipped. And we want to go and then place down two more andesite walls after those stone stairs. So just like that, and that right there will basically complete what we have there for the pod. Now once we get to this point, uh, we are going to be setting up our base here for engines uh, 3 and 4 on the very outer end. We're going to go and go to the opposite side of the, the uh, fuel pod here. We're going to count 1, 2, and 3 blocks out to the side here again. So over here, same thing. We're going to count 1, 2, 3 out to the side, and just like we did before, iron trap door like so. And then iron trap door going back from it like that. We're going to then delete these blocks here as we don't need them anymore. And we'll have basically engines uh, 3 and 4 set up for us to go ahead and do in the next layer. Anyways, that right there is going to conclude uh, the structural part of this uh, layer here. We're going to now move into a couple banner designs that we will need to make to kind of spruce them up and show some accuracy to the build. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials I'll need and I'll see you guys here in a sec as we go ahead and make these banners. Alright guys, so for our first banners here, uh, we're going to be going ahead and doing this little design here that kind of shows these little windows here on the front section um, of the aircraft. It was pretty simple to make these. We're, to make these uh, two banners, we're going to need two black banners, three light gray dye, and then obviously a loom. We're going to go into our loom, place each of our black banners into our loom, and our light gray die. We're going to go and select the line that goes vertically on the left side, like this for our first banner, and our second banner we're going to select the vertical line on the right side. So we get two banners that look like this. Each banner we're going to place back into our loom. We're going to go and split the banner in half by having a light gray die on the bottom half. So we get a kind of like L shape like this. And we want to go and then grab the border and do the border around the banner like that. 
We're gonna do the same thing with this one. So split the banner in half like so, and the light gray border that goes around like so. And once you get to this point here, you wanna go ahead and place your banner so that the uh, black portion is more toward the center, so like this, and it'll be the same thing over here on that side as well. And those will be those little windows there that are located on the uh, front there of the C-130. So that's what those are representing there. Anyways, those banners are complete. We're going to go ahead and now move into the National Star Insignia, uh, which will be located here on the back of the aircraft. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and again grab the materials I'll need, and I'll see you guys here in a sec to go ahead and make the National Star Insignia logo uh, for the aircraft. All right, guys, to go ahead and make these National Star Insignia banners, we're going to go ahead and now need three black banners and seven light gray dye. To go ahead and get started, we're going to take our first black banner and place it into our loom. We're going to take our light gray dye and place it in as well. We want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and doing a line of light gray dye across the top. And we then want to go and do a line of light gray through the center. And the line of light gray dye through across the bottom. So you should get something that looks like this here for your banner two black stripes like so. That's going to do it for our first banner. Our next banner here, we're going to then place uh, our black banner into our loom. And our light gray dye, we're going to go and select the bottom left hand corner like this. And we're going to then select the top uh, left hand corner and that's going to create this banner. And then lastly, uh, our last banner here, we're going to do the opposite of this one. So the bottom right corner and the top right corner. And you get basically two banners that look like this. And these banners here are going to be uh, positioned on the back of the aircraft here. So we're going to go and count from our stone stair. One, two, three, four, five. And our sixth stone stair from the back. So count back. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So our sixth stair here. We're going to place down the striped banner. This banner here. This one and then the striped banner again like that and the same thing will be done over here on this side just like that so it should kind of line up be right next to that door like so and then you have that logo there on the side of the fuselage on both sides there anyways once you have that all done that's going to complete the banners that we have for this layer and with that that will complete everything we really have to cover for this layer um, so that's going to be it for layer number six of the build and with that let's go ahead and move into our next layer layer number seven Alright guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number 7. For layer 7 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and go to the front here and start off by placing down a black stained glass pane on top of the stone block, and then we're going to go ahead and follow this up by placing down three black stained glass blocks back from that stained glass pane. After we have that done, that's going to do it for our front center line, we're going to go ahead and then move to the rear of the aircraft. We have something a little different here, we're going to place down a polished anti block going up from that polished anti top slab, so same thing we've been doing. However, we're going to place down a stone top slab after that polished anti block and then two iron trap doors come off that stone top slab so a little bit of a different th difference there in the rear center line from this point here we're going to go and start building our way out to the sides starting with the front here we're going to go and go off this like or this black stained glass pane we're going to place down one more to the side and then one two and three black stained glass blocks back we're going to then place down an air brick wall to the side here and then one and two black stained glass blocks back and then a black stained glass pane to the side of this block and an air brick wall after that we then want to go in very simply, um, again if you're filling in the inside here, if you're not doing an interior, we'll just go ahead and kind of fill in the bottom here of these black stained glass paint, it's just, or full blocks just kind of closing it off, and we'll also place down a row across the back here as well just to close that area off from being able to be visible from the outside. Anyways, once we get to this point here, we're going to then take our stone blocks, and going back from the narrow brick wall, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 stone blocks back and we're going to then place down a black concrete block like that after that. We're going to go then place down a row of 1, 2, 3 and 4 stone blocks back. On our fourth block back we're going to go ahead and place down the inside wall to the side and we're going to come back to that a little bit later. But continuing on with our stone blocks we're going to go ahead and continue on with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So we're in line with this polished ASA block. And I'm going to go and double check our count here. And we have 26 back from this one. But in total, this is going to be a row of 30 going back to the black concrete. After we have that done, uh, we're going to place down a stone top side. Come off that stone full block. On the inside here of the full block, we're going to place down one and two polished ASA blocks over. And then one and two stone top slabs, and then an iron trap door coming off this one on both sides of the middle one, like so. After that's done, go ahead and go back to this andesite wall. We want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, more walls back, so it should be a total of ten, and that'll be kind of the start there of our wing roots. After that, go ahead and moving into our engines here. We're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block on top of this polished black stone upstairs. 
Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone top slabs. We're going to place down two top slabs going forward. And then the side of this first top slab and this black concrete block, we're going to go ahead and place down two inside walls there to the side. We then want to take stone blocks going back from the black concrete. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five uh, stone blocks back. And after that, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone uh, top slab, like so. On the sides here, we're going to then place down one, two, and three uh, walls. One, two, and three. And after that, we want to go and then grab our glass panes. And we're going to place down a row of one and two glass panes. One and two, just like that. And after that's all uh, complete there, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a iron trap door. And for our middle little pylon section here, we're going to go to this section here. We're going to place down an iron trap door. And we want to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and the side walls back, and then another iron trap door here for uh, basically the connecting piece to our wing. Uh, once we get done with that, we are going to then move to this outer engine. So the outer engine here, we're going to basically do the same thing we did for this layer here, which is going to be a polished black stone upside stair on top of that iron trap door, followed by a skeleton school on both sides of this polished black stone upside stair, and we then want to place down a stone top slab coming off the stair like that and going forward. Going back from the stair, we're going to place down one, two, stone blocks back, followed by a stone upside down stair, like so, and then a stone top slab. Uh, we're going to then go back from the skeleton skulls, two inside walls to both sides, and then a skeleton skull on both sides of this stone stair like that. And after that's all done there, that's going to basically do it for the outer engine, or basically the start of it. And from that, we're going to go ahead and basically uh, continue on. Uh, one thing also is this one a little bit different than the previous one. It does have an iron trap door come off that uh, stone top slab. So just make sure you take that into account as well. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for uh, this layer here, layer number 7. Looking at from above here, this is what we should have. As you can see, we have our engines getting set up, our pylons, and all that stuff. So everything's starting to kind of come together. Uh, just a heads up, our next layer is going to start to get into the wings, which I obviously, for every aircraft, consider probably the hardest part of the tutorial, especially for these large cargo planes. So uh, just be advised that the next few layers here are going to be a little bit difficult as we do progress into the wings section. Um, but once we get done with the wings, we're pretty much smooth sailing and it's going to be pretty much done with the aircraft for the most part, just having the vertical stabilizer to put on. So uh, bear with these next few layers. They are going to be a little bit tricky, but obviously I'm going to do my best to get you guys through them. And... Um, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number eight. All right, guys, so going ahead to now, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number eight. For layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to start off by placing down a stone stair on top of this black stained glass block, and then going back from here, we're going to place down one and two black stained glass blocks back from the stone stair. That right there is going to do it for our front side line. Going ahead and moving to our rear here, we're going to go on top of this first iron trap door here in the center. We're going to place down a stone block, followed by a second block behind it, a third and a fourth, so you have a row of four of stone blocks and then two stone top slabs and then an iron trap door coming off the last top slab like down the back there after that's complete that's going to do it for the rear center line and the front and we can go and start working our way out to the sides to begin with we'll be going ahead and placing down a narrow stone stair next to this one up here in the front followed by one and two black stained glass blocks back from that stair we then want to go and place down a narrow brick wall to the side here and a narrow black stained glass block going back followed by a wither skeleton skull on the side of that black stained glass block we then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a stone block going back from this black stained glass block, and then a stone stair here to the outside. This middle space here, we can go and fill in with a row 3 of black concrete, just to close that area off, um, if, again, if you are not choosing to do an interior. Anyways, once we get to this point here, we're going to take our stone blocks, and we're going to be placing down a long row of stone blocks. This row, in total, is going to be very long, uh, going all the way back to a 47 blocks in total. So... Uh, we have one already, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18 20, 21, 22, 23, and I'm just going to go and count this, build this back, um, all the way back to where we need to go. Again, as I mentioned, it is 47 blocks in total. So it's going to go all the way back, and it's going to go ahead and go one past this stone tops up here, on the end here. And again, just to give you guys a full count, back from that stone block, it's 47, in total it's 48 blocks from that black stained glass block. From the sides here, we're going to take our stone stairs and we're just going to go ahead and run it all the way along the sides here of these stone stairs, or of the stone full blocks, all the way back until we get to this black concrete block. This black concrete block here, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair on top of it. And we want to go ahead and then take our stone stairs and go one and two 
and three stone stairs back. We're going to switch to stone full blocks and replace our row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stone blocks back. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen stone stairs back along those stone blocks. After we get that done, we're going to go ahead and then go back from the stone full block here with a row of two of stone top slabs. So one, two top slabs. We're going to go and then place down a stone uh, full block on top of the stone block here. And we're going to go and then place down a stone full block coming off it like so. Followed by a stone upside down stair, a stone top slab, and then we're going to go back to iron trap doors. Should, should look like this here on the bottom. And then again, looking at it from the top here, this is what it should look like here for the rear of the aircraft. After we have that done, we're going to start working on our wing section. So this right here is where things are going to get a little bit more tricky um, pertaining to the build. For us to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and taking stone stairs. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair on top of this, or coming off this stone full block right here. So on top of that first andesite wall. And we then want to go ahead and go to our last two andesite walls here. We're going to place down two stone upside down stairs there. Then the space in between these stairs, we're just going to go ahead and fill in with some stone full blocks like that all the way in filling that section in like so. Alright guys, so going ahead and continuing on for the wings. For the wings here, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to this stone full block here. We're going to place down one, two, and three coming off it to the side. We then want to switch to our black concrete. We're going to place down an indent block, so one that kind of goes at an angle toward the front. And we're going to place down three black concrete blocks, then a stone block here on the end. We're going to go then place down one more stone block coming off this one forward, then two to the outside here. And then we're going to go over an angle here again and place down an air stone full block just like that. Now after that stone block like so, we're going to go ahead and place down an additional three. So one, two, three. And then we want to go ahead and go forward indented one, two, three. Right there in that section here. And then right there is going to kind of fill in this space here for um, our full blocks. Now at this point here, we're going to go ahead and then take our black concrete. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Just like that, kind of filling that in. See that box right there. And the remaining space in between, we're just going to go ahead and fill in with some stone full blocks to go ahead and close this area of, off for the wings. After we have that done, we also want to go ahead and go to the tops of our um, anisite walls here. And we're just going to place down stone full blocks on top of those walls there. And uh, after we get to that point, we're going to go and start doing our top slabs, layering, layering those around. To begin with, uh, we want to go ahead and take our top slabs and go in after the stair here. We're going to place down one, two, and three stone top slabs over. Once we get to this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and fill this in with one, two, and three stone full blocks above the engine section. And then we're going to go ahead and switch to iron trap doors. And we're going to be placing down a row of what is going to be five iron trap doors. So after that row of three, one, two, three, four, five iron trap doors to the side there, like so. After those iron trap doors, uh, we want to go and then take our top slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, a top slab here behind this iron trap door. And also one, two, and three top slabs in this section, and then one, two, and three stone top slabs right there. After that, uh, we should have something that looks like this here so far for that um, section of the wing. We're going to go ahead and then place down a additional two top slabs, one and two, that come out to the side there, going past those iron trap doors like that. Now, after we have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then go back with a row of uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a polished black stone block. So to the side here, we're going to go back. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we're going to place down a polished black stone top slab. After we have that done, we're going to go and go from this top slab at an angle, place down an air stone top slab, back like so, and we're going to then place down a second top slab coming off that one. We then want to go and go over again, place the top slab like that, and we're going to then place down two more. One, two, top slabs over, followed by one, two, three, four, and five polished blackstone top slabs. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a second row of five going forward, so one, two, three, four, five, and then a row of one, two, and three top slabs like that connected up to those black concrete blocks. And then once we get to this point here, we're just going to place down one and two stone top slabs connecting that together. We can fill in two top slabs here, and we can just go ahead and take our top slabs and just kind of fill in the remaining space all in right here to kind of completely close off the wing and to basically finish that section off here for this uh, layer. Now, once we get to this point, uh, we are going to be going ahead and starting uh, setting up our other engine on the outside here. So just like we did before, uh, we're going to be going ahead and going to the side here and place on a black concrete block on top of this one. 
then one and two polished blackstone top slabs going forward. We're going to place down andesite walls on the side of the black concrete block and the polished blackstone top slab to both sides like so. And then we want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, stone full blocks back. So I believe, yep, six is uh, where we want them. And we want to go ahead and then place down a row of one, two, three, four andesite walls and one, two, three, and four. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some light gray stained glass panes. And we're going to place down one and two, and one and two along the sides of those two stone full blocks. At this point here, we're going to take our polished blackstone. We're going to place down one, two, and three. Polished blackstone. They're going to, top slabs are going to go across, followed by a top slab right here in this location. And we then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood trapdoors. And we're going to place down two dark oak wood trapdoors right there. And then after that, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of four. Come off this one. So one, two, three, and four over, just like that, for the back there. And then lastly, we just want to grab our stone top slabs, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three stone top slabs along the sides there of those of that engine, just like that. And uh, with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and finish this layer off by going ahead and doing our um, number two engine here. To go ahead and complete this, we're going to take our stone blocks and place down two rows of three on top here. We then want to place down a stone block in the middle and a wall to both sides and then come off the center one and two black concrete blocks going toward the front here and we're going to then place down a wither skeleton skull on the tip and a polished black stone wall on the sides of the first black concrete block like that. And once we have that done uh, that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for this layer I'm making sure we're not missing anything everything appears to be good to go. One thing I do want to mention also is the addition of the US Air Force written on the side of the fuselage of the aircraft. Now this is something I'm not going to show in the tutorial how to do because it would take a lot of time to actually do these banners and all that stuff. So I would recommend uh, going ahead and find some letter banner tutorials that are out there to make your own letters. Um, for this uh, you'll need the U, the S, A, I, R, F, O, C and E you will need uh, to basically make banners for and for me I did a light gray banner with a black writing to go ahead and have US Air Force written on the side of the fuselage here and as you can see here the US starts right here so on this first stone stair and then we skip a space between each word and we have US Air Force basically written out here on the side of the fuselage. Now one thing to mention is that if you're building it on the right side here it does read left to right so uh, we're actually going to have force start on this end. So we have the force, um, which will start this way if I can spell it right. So force, and then we have air, and then we have US. So very important to make sure that it does read left to right on both sides, as that is, um, you know, how English works, I guess, uh, the easy way to explain it. Uh, but yeah, that's how it's going to be positioned on both sides here. So if you need to, you can take some time here. But again, I'm not going to show you guys exactly how to make those banners as it would take a lot of time with the tutorial. And there's plenty of tutorials out there for you guys uh, already available that show you guys how to make the banners and way more efficiently than I would be able to, to do so. So anyways, uh, that's going to pretty much do it for this layer. Feel free to go ahead and pause the video and make those banners for the side there if you do want to include them. But anyways, that's it for layer eight. Let's move on to layer number nine. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number 9 here. Layer 9 to go ahead and get started with, we want to go ahead and place down a daylight detector on top of this um, black uh, stained glass block, and we're going to go ahead and change the daylight detector to the night mode. We're going to go ahead and place down a polished black stone wall, a stone stair, a stone block, a polished inside block, and then we're going to place down a long row of stone blocks going all the way down the length of the fuselage here, all the way back ending on top of this iron trap door on the rear here, and this in total is going to be a length of 51 stone blocks. After that last block here, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair, and that right there is going to complete your center line here for this layer. Go ahead and move into the sides here, we're going to place down a daylight detector next to this one, and we're going to go and turn this to the night mode as well. We then want to place down two stone slabs back. At this point right here, we do have a difference in the sides. Over here on the left side, you can see after those two stone slabs, we have a polished andesite stair, a stone brick wall, and then another polished andesite uh, stair right here. Actually, sorry, this is supposed to be a light gray shulker box so my apologies I'm gonna go and fix that real quick but yeah we have a light gray shulker box right there on the side and on top of that we're gonna be placing on a stone button so we should have something that looks like this over here on the right side however it's just gonna be a row of one two and three stone stairs just like that so just make sure you take into account there the two differences there on the sides after that our stone stairs we're gonna go ahead and roll back from both sides and this is gonna be a long row or a pretty decent row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and 13 stone stairs back. We're going to go then switch to stone full blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Stone full blocks back. Fall by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I got a little messed up here. Let me go and get my marker here. We're at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Stone blocks back. Um, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Stone full blocks, a stone stair, and then an andesite wall here on the very end, like so. After our row is complete, we're going to go back up to the front and continue to work our way out to the sides here. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off the stone slab, followed by a second iron trap door. Over here on the right side, you can see the difference. We have a skeleton skull in front of this polished andesite stair, a polished andesite slab in front of the shulker box, and a skeleton skull right here. The skeleton skulls are placed at 45 degree angles here relative to the um, shulker box, so just make sure they're in the corners kind of like that. Anyways, over here on the right side, we're just going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors like that. After we get to this point, we want to go ahead and continue on with our iron trap doors on both sides, going back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve iron trap doors back, followed by a stone slab, a stone stair, and then a stone block. Coming off the stone block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like so. And we want to go ahead and continue on from the stone block, going back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight uh, stone blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair like so. And then one and two stone slabs back from that stair. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen iron trap doors back. So double check my count here. Yep, it is sixteen. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair. And then one, two, three, four uh, stone blocks back. And we then want to place down another stone stair here, followed by a stone slab coming off that stone stair. Once we get to this point, we're going to go and focus in on our uh, horizontal stabilizers. So uh, for this to go ahead and get started with, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this stone full block. We're going to place down a row of two of stone upstairs downstairs. So one, two. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone top slabs. So one, two, and three out to the side there. Once we get to this point, we're going to take our stone blocks on the next row. We're going to place down one, two, three, four stone blocks. So like so. And we're going to go then take our top slabs and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So next row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Like that going out to the side there. After we have that all done, uh, we want to go and then take our uh, stone blocks here. And we're going to then do a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, blocks like that. And then we want to go and go out to the side of our stone top slabs with a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 like so. Our next row here, uh, we're going to take our stone full blocks and we're going to be placing down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stone full blocks. And then once we get to this point, uh, we're going to take our stone brick top slabs and we want to go ahead and place down a row of uh, stone brick top slabs out to the side here. Alright guys, so one quick adjustment we're going to make here is we're actually going to take this stone row of stone here and we're actually going to extend this one more block. So one more. And then we want to go ahead and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Stone brick top slabs out to the side there. Next row here, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Stone brick top slabs like that across. And we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Stone top slabs across from there. After that, we're going to place down a another stone brick top slab here. And then going over, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Stone slabs like that across. Um, so that's basically what you should have there for your horizontal stabilizers for now. With that done, we're going to start moving into our wing section. For our wings here, uh, we're going to start off by going ahead and placing down an iron trap door. That's going to be coming off this stone block here. And we want to go ahead and place down a stone slab going forward from it. Come off that stone slab, we're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors to the outside there. And we're going to go ahead and take our stone pressure plates and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 stone pressure plates all the way along the side there, like that. After we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone slabs. We're going to place down one more forward from this and one out to the side, so you have two stone slabs there. And then we're going to take iron trap doors, and we want to go and go with a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 iron trap doors all the way out to the outside there, like so. And on the bottom of those two trapdoors, uh, we're going to be going ahead and placing down two dark oak with trapdoors, like that on the bottom. Next row here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a stone stair, coming off the side there like so. 
and we're going to take our stone slabs here and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Stone slabs out to the side there so it should stick one past those dark oak wood trap doors. Our next row after this, um, so we have the stair there. We're going to go ahead and place down a full block behind the stair and then one more full block out to the side there. And we want to go and then place down a stone stair, like so. And then one and two stone stairs come off it. So you have a corner stair and then two regular stairs, like so. We're going to take our stone slabs after the stair. Count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Out to the side here. And actually, I think it's going to be 17. And we're going to just double check our count here. And it is 17 stone top slabs out to the side there. And then we want to go ahead and go up with a stone brick top slab, like so. And then a stone top slab coming off that stone brick top slab, like so. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a second stone top slab, like so. Now after we get to this point, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our stone full blocks, and we want to go ahead and just do a row of stone across. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And once we get to this section here, uh, we're going to go ahead and transition to a row of three of stone brick top slabs. So we're going to go ahead and then go with a row of three, one, two, one, two, three of stone brick top slabs. And then we want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone top slabs like that up the side there. Uh, after that's complete, our next row here, we're going to take our stone blocks and we want to go and do a full row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Out to the side here. So I'm going to go and double check our count here. And it is going to be 23 blocks in length. We then want to take our stone uh, top slabs here. We're going to place down a row of two top slabs. So 1 and 2 stone top slabs like that. And we want to go and then place down a row of five of our stone brick top slabs. So we're going to just place down a row of... So on the wing tip here, we're actually going to place down a row of four of stone brick top slabs. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to take our iron trap doors and continue on with a row of two out to the side. So one, two, like that. Next row here, going back to our stone full blocks, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one and 22 blocks out to the side here we're going to go then take our stone top slabs and place down one two three four five six seven and eight stone top slabs to the side and we're going to then place down a row of four of iron trap doors to the side next row here um, we're going to take our stone full blocks again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and 20 so we're going to go, ahead and go 20 blocks to the side here we then want to go ahead and take our stone top slabs here and we're going to place down a row of so going down here we're going to go ahead and make some real quick adjustments uh, from the previous layer we're actually going to go ahead and extend this uh, out by one so we're going to have two right here and then we want to go ahead and extend this one two and three out to the side there so it should look like this here on the bottom of the wing uh, so my bad on that one but once we get to this point here, we're going to take our stone blocks and we're already at 20 and we're going to continue this to 21, 22, and 23. So 23 blocks out to the side here. We're going to take our stone top slabs, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 top slabs out to the side here, followed by a row of 4, again, of iron trap doors. Like that. Next row here, uh, we're going to take our stone blocks and we want to go and then do a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, and 20. So we're just going to go too short from the previous row. We then, uh, let me actually just double check our count here. And it is going to be, it's going to be 21 blocks in total, so my bad. Uh, we then want to take our stone top slabs, and we're just going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 top slabs to this side here, followed by a row of 3 of iron trap doors. After that's all done, uh, our next row here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone stairs, and we want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 stone stairs across. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 stone slabs going forward, followed by a polished black stone slab on the front here, 
And we're going to then place down daylight detectors here to the corner or to the sides of those slabs. And we're going to turn those to the to the night mode and then iron trap doors right there in those sections like that. After we have that done, uh, we want to take our stone full blocks and we're going to be placing down a row of full blocks to the side here. So we're going to go from the stair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stone full blocks to the side. For our engine here, uh, we want to place down a row of three of stone full blocks, followed by a second row of three. We're going to then follow it up by a stone block in the center and a side wall to both sides. And then we want to take our black concrete and we're going to place down one and two black concrete blocks forward. A polished black stone wall on both sides of the first black concrete block and then a wither skeleton skull coming off the uh, the uh, black concrete block there in the center. And after that's all complete there, uh, we want to go and then take, grab our stone top slabs and we're going to do a row of four on the side here. So one, two, three, four. And then switch into iron trap doors, we're going to do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten iron trap doors to the side there. And once we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer number nine for the build. As you can see, we have a lot going on in this layer, a lot being built, um, and the wings for the majority are pretty much built up. We do have some more we're going to be of the wings we're going to be revisiting in the next layer, but it won't be as much, um, thankfully. Anyways, though, that's going to do it for uh, layer number nine, and with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number ten. I right, guess moving on to our next layer, we have layer ten. For layer ten, to go ahead and get started with. We're gonna start off by going ahead and going to the top here. Back from our polished andesite uh, block right here. We're gonna count back one, two, three, four, five stone blocks back. And we wanna go ahead and then go to our sixth one. We're gonna place down a skeleton skull, a polished andesite slab, and then our skeleton skull like that next to it. On both sides also of the polished andesite slab, we'll just place down a skeleton skull just like that so we don't have to worry about it. One thing from the previous layer I did forget also is we're gonna place down an Arabic fence post on top of this stone stair here. And grabbing our barrier blocks, we're going to place down two barrier blocks like this, followed by two stone buttons on top of those barrier blocks. Um, after we have that done there, we're going to then go up from these barrier blocks, or from these stone buttons, and place down a row of four of barrier blocks along the side here. And then along those four barrier blocks, there are going to be two stone buttons. So we're going to place down one and two stone buttons here, and same thing over here, one and two. So just like that for the cables there. And that'll be on both sides, symmetrical on the aircraft. Once we have that done, we're going to skip back from the skeleton skull here. One, two, three, four spaces. And then we're going to place down an end rod. Skip a space, a stone brick wall. Skip a space, and then an iron trap door. A daylight detector turned to night mode. One, two, three, and four stone slabs. And then two iron trap doors back from those, two, those four stone slabs. We're going to then skip one, two, three, and four spaces. We're going to place down a lever like this. Iron trap door end rod, iron trap door, and then one, two, three stone slabs, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen stone full blocks. Let me double check my count here, and it is going to be thirteen. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick full block, and then two stone full blocks back from that stone brick full block. After that's done, we want to go then go to our uh, stone block here. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 iron trap doors to the side here. And then our next row here, we're going to go and do a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 iron trap doors. Uh, after that, actually, sorry, it's going to be a row of 6 iron trap doors like that. And that's going to basically complete your horizontal stabilizers. And then with that, uh, we're going to go and move back up here and start working on what's left of the wings here. Now, from this point here, we're going to take our daylight detectors and go into the side of this one. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 to the side here. So let me go and double check my count here to make sure that's correct. And anyway, we have 18 in total. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone slab, like so. And after that stone slab, we're going to be placing down a row of daylight detectors. Go into the side here. And this is going to be a row of 12. So we're going to go and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And after we have that all done there, we want to go and take each one of these daylight detectors and we're going to go and turn these to the night mode. So we're just going to go and right click um, each one of these daylight detectors and we're going to turn them all to the blue color here to put them into the night mode. So just like that. After we have that done, uh, go ahead and go into this stone slab over here. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three, and four stone slabs forward for the engine here. 
followed by a polished blackstone wall right here. And then take our daylight detectors to the sides. We're going to place down one and two daylight detectors, turn them to night mode, and then we're going to then place down our iron trap door like that to both sides. With that done, um, we're going to go ahead and continue on by taking iron trap doors and along the fronts of these, uh, these um, daylight detectors that are after the outer engines, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of iron trap doors there along the side there. We also want to go ahead and grab daylight detectors and we'll be placing down a row of eight daylight detectors for the tip of the wing. So we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of eight. So we have, uh, yeah, row of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that out to the side there. So we have eight to the side here. We're going to make one quick adjustment also. Uh, we're going to delete one of these daylight detectors and we're going to expand this row by one more. So you should have a total of 13 of these daylight detectors right here with the iron trap doors in front of them and we're going to go ahead and make sure we just turn them to the night mode and then these right here we're going to extend this by one more out to the side so again we keep that row of eight and we're going to go ahead and make sure we turn these daylight detectors all to the night mode so basically after those two iron trap doors it should stick six of these daylight detectors out past those anyways once we get to this point here we're also going to take our stone slabs and just place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight stone slabs like that out to the side there after we have that complete, our next uh, row here, we're going to take our stone slabs and we're just going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and um, we're going to do 33, 34, 35, 36 um, stone slabs all the way out to the side here. We're going to switch to stone brick slabs, place down one, two, three. Should have one block left here until we're even with the elite, with the uh, side of the wing here, but we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull in that space like that. So again, we have a row of stone slabs here in total of 36 blocks long, three stone brick uh, slabs, and then a skeleton skull. Our next row here, take our stone slabs, and we're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Uh, slabs like that out to the side here. And then we're going to then take our stone brick slabs and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we then want to place down 1, 2, and 3 stone slabs after that. Next row here, we're going to take iron trap doors and we're going to be going ahead and placing down a row of, or sorry, actually first stone slabs, one, two, three stone slabs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, and uh, 22, 23, and 24 iron trap doors like that out to the side there. And we then want to go ahead and take our stone slabs and we're going to go ahead and go off these five stone brick slabs here with five stone slabs just like that. And after that's done, go ahead and go back to this section here. Uh, we want to go ahead and then place down uh, one and two stone slabs to the sides here. And this right here, we're actually going to extend this by two more slabs. We're going to delete these two iron trap doors and extend that by two. Uh, but then we're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors here, then one, two. And then one just like that to go and complete the back there and also in the front here we're going to place down one and two to the side there's so a row of five in total there for the front and anyways once we have that all complete there that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for the wings for the aircraft as you can see pretty nice design here for them um you know you get a pretty cool uh you know look for them and they overall look really good and work really well for the aircraft so uh yeah that's pretty much it for the wings there on uh both sides and once we have that all complete it's going to be pretty easy from here on out we're going to be basically working on our final layers to go ahead and basically build uh up the tail and the cabling and all that stuff and we'll pretty much be done with the in-flight version so with that let's go ahead and move into our last final layers all right guys going ahead and move into our final layers we have layers 11 through uh 22 for these layers here, our main focus is going to be the vertical stabilizer, the cables, and also at the end, we're going to go ahead and do the props onto the engines. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to our rear here of the aircraft. We're going to place down a stone block on two stone blocks on top of these two, a stone brick uh, block here, and we then uh, want to go ahead and go to this front section here. We're going to count back one, two, three on our third, or sorry, our fourth stone block. We're going to place down a stone slab, followed by a second stone slab, and then a stone stair. Coming off that stone stair back, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 stone full blocks. Going ahead and continuing to work our way up, we're going to place down the inside wall here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stone blocks back. 
stone brick block and then a row of two of stone blocks. Our next row up, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks. Stone brick block, one and two stone blocks back. Next row up, and a wall here in the front. One, two, three, four, five stone blocks. Stone brick block, stone block, then an andesite wall. This next section here is you're going to be your tail flash. So you can do whatever color you guys want. For me, I did yellow, as you can see. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven yellow concrete blocks along the side here, and then a sandstone wall on the end there. Um, you can do uh, red concrete with a brick wall on the end here, blue concrete with the um, prismarine wall, or basically whatever you guys want to work, uh, make work, uh, whatever color your tail flash is usually they're kind of base specific so certain base every base has like their own tail flash type design or sometimes just squadron based um really just kind of depends uh but yeah so we have a tail flash going for the center of the tail here but again that's kind of optional um for whatever you guys are doing either way um you can choose to include it if you don't just go and use stone anyways we want to go and then place down two dark oak buttons here dark oak button there just to kind of give a little bit of design to it and again i would recommend looking up different bases looking at their tail flashes for their c-130s to kind of create a cool unique tail flash um, for your own so you can kind of use item frames uh whatever paintings i don't know just to kind of create your own tail flash um anyways continuing on we're going to go and then place down the inside wall here one two three four stone blocks back stone brick block stone block and then a inside wall next row here stone block here one two three four uh, stone blocks back from it, stone brick block, stone block, and a side wall. Next row here, uh, and a side wall here, followed by a stone block, and we want to go and then grab ourselves a blue concrete block. So, blue concrete block, and then we're going to then grab ourselves a TNT block, and then a stone brick block, and then a stone block like that. And on both sides of the TNT block, or sorry, the blue concrete block, we can go and place the birchwood button here for what would be presumably the American flag. After that, we're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, and three stone blocks. We want to go and grab ourselves a iron trap door. And on the stone, or the stone block here, the middle one, we're going to place down an iron trap door to both sides. And on top of that, we want to go and place down a stone pressure plate like so. We're going to then place down a stone block here, or stone brick block, and then a stone block. Continuing up for this, we're going to go and place down a andesite wall. One, two stone blocks, stone brick block, and a stone block. And again, continuing up, two stone blocks, two a stone brick block, stone block here. And lastly, on top here, we're going to go and place down a iron trap door. On top, a stone uh, slab here. And then we want to go and grab ourselves a stone brick slab. Place it here, and then an iron trap door there on the very end. And once we have that done, that's going to basically do it for the structure there for our vertical stabilizer. Now one thing I want to cover here is also doing the markings on the tail. So for us, we have a three-lettered, um, basically AMC, which stands for Air Mobility Command. Since this is an Air Force version of the uh, C-130, as they're kind of the primary operators of one, or of this aircraft, uh, we're going to be going ahead and going with an Air Force the Air Force kind of marking style. So with this, uh, we are going to be doing AMC which this aircraft would uh, could be a part of. There are um, plenty of different match comms. Um, you can look them up uh, for the Air Force uh, Air, Com Air Combat Command and Air Mobility Command, which is what we have right here on the side. Um, but yeah, you can kind of like ch pick and choose what you want to do there on the side there. But we're going to go and go with a, uh, AMC for the Air Mobility Command, and that's where we're going to put it. We also have a six-digit uh, tail number. So for this, we have... We're going to do 60021, nothing in particular, just a random number I made up. But you'll place your five banners across the side there just like that. So pretty simple stuff. And same thing over here, we want to make sure it reads left to right on both sides there. So 60021. So um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it there for the uh, tail there. And uh, with that, pretty much what we have left for this layer is to do propellers and do the rig rigging. So we're probably going to move into doing the rigging now as that is probably one of the more complicated things. And uh, we'll get that knocked out and we'll pretty much move on to the propellers and be good to go for the in-flight model. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the rigging. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into uh, the cabling. As you can see, I already have one side done. We're gonna go ahead and do the left side together. Um, but they're basically the same thing. They're gonna be the same thing applied to both sides. So it should be pretty um, easy to copy everything over. 
Uh, but anyways, from this section here, we want to go ahead and go ahead and go to these top of these two barrier blocks here and place down two stone buttons. We're going to go then go up from this stone button here. We're going to place down a barrier block, stone button on the inside. And we then want to go and place down a barrier block coming off that stone button like so. We're going to then place down a stone button on the outside so it looks like this. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a barrier block that is going to be going one and two back from this one and two stone buns on top. We're going to go then place down one and two barrier blocks, two stone buns on the side, two barrier blocks back, and two stone buns on top. Followed by a barrier block here, two, three, four back, two stone buns on the side, two stone buns on top. And we then want to go ahead and place down one and two barrier blocks and two stone buns on the side here. And coming off this stone bun here, one and two barrier blocks, two stone buns on top. Going back to the stone button, one, two, three, and four barrier blocks, two stone buns on the side, two stone buns on top. Coming off this barrier block, again, one, two, three, and four stone or barrier blocks, two stone buns, two stone buns on top. Then one, two, three, and four barrier blocks back, two stone buttons, two stone buttons on top. And then at this point here, we have these, we're going to place down, we're going to go over from this barrier block, kind of go up at an angle. We're going to place down a barrier, one, two, three, four barrier blocks, two stone buttons on both sides of this barrier block here. Um, and then we have our two barrier blocks here, two stone buttons on top. We're going to go off this stone button here, two barrier blocks, stone buttons on both sides of that barrier block and then a stone button on top of the last one. And you're just going to take the cabling, do the same thing we did over here on the left side, over here to the right side, and once we let our barrier blocks dissipate and we take a look at it, we should have something that looks like this here for our cabling here uh, for the aircraft. So that's what it's going to look like, and that will pretty much finish that whole part off like so. Anyways, once we get to this point here, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab a uh, polished black stone stairs and polished andesite stairs. To go ahead and make our propellers, real simple, we're going to go ahead and go to this black concrete block and we're going to go ahead and go basically off the four corners of it, placing down a polished black stone stair and then a two polished andesite stairs going up at a kind of like a staircase in all four directions like this to go ahead and make our props. And you're just going to go ahead and basically do this for each one of the engines and once you have all four engines complete you'll have this design all uh, finished. So just like this going down and the same thing over here going down like that anyways once we have that all done there that's going to basically wrap up what we have there for that engine and you're going to take that same thing and apply it to all four engines once you have that complete you'll have the in-flight version for the c-130h complete with that we're going to be going ahead and moving into the landing gear and also the loading ramp opened up on the rear so you have a couple different uh, playability features with it as well um, with having it landed and having the back opened up um, depending on what you guys want to use this for. Anyways that's it for the in-flight version let's go ahead and move into adding in the landing gear. Alright guys so going ahead and moving into adding the landing gear. To go ahead and get started with we'll be going ahead and go into this bottom section here of the aircraft. We want to go and go to these three stone top slabs we're going to go and delete these top slabs here these blocks here and these blocks here so you have a three by three space broken out on the inside here of the aircraft we're going to then place down a row of three accords full blocks in this section here and then a row of three accords top slabs along the sides a quartz top slab here quartz full block quartz full block here and a quartz top slab so it looks like this here on the bottom we're going to then place down a diorite wall on the bottom of the diorite wall we're going to place down a smooth quartz top slab a polished black stone stair to the side of the top slab and one stair on top and then two stairs on the back of those two stairs and same thing over here just like that for our wheel here after we get that set up we're going to then place down a stone stair right here and then a second stone stair back from it we're going to then go to the bottom of those two stone stairs and we want to go and place down a row of two of iron trap doors and then a row of two of stone top slabs lever that's going to be flicked toward the stone stair here and then an end rod in that section right there and after we get that done we're going to go over here to this side and we're going to do something very similar uh, we're going to go from the iron trap doors one two and three over and same thing right here one two three and one two three over just like that from those stone top slabs we then want to go ahead and take our stone top slabs one two and then our stone stairs one two lever flicked forward 
and then a end rod like that on top of that stone top side right there. And that right there is going to basically form our kind of front landing gear and have that all set up. I'm going to go ahead and grab some uh, banners real quick and show you guys a cool technique to make these wheels look a little bit more wheel-like uh, using some banners. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into making these wheel banners. Super simple, we're going to need a loom, two black banners, two white dye, four black dye. We're going to go ahead and go into our loom, we're going to go ahead and place down our black banners and our white dye. We're going to select the line on the left side here of white dye, and then the line on the right side, like so. So we have two banners here, vertical white line on the right and left side. Both these banners are going to go ahead and go back into our loom, and taking our black dye, we're going to do the horizontal line across the bottom, and the horizontal line across the top, to create this basically banner design, and we're going to do the same thing over here for this one. So line across the bottom, line across the top, and that right there will basically finish those banners off. They'll go ahead and go to the side here of these wheels, and we'll just place down the two banners back to back with the white, um, or side to side with the white uh, facing each other like that to go ahead and make those wheels. And as you can see from a distance there, it looks really good and really kind of adds a more wheel-like design there to that front wheel. But yeah, that right there is going to do it there for the front wheel, and uh, with that we're going to go ahead and move into the rear set of landing gear. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our rear landing gear. Now for our rear landing gear, we're going to be going ahead and starting off by going ahead and going to the side here. We're going to go ahead and go to this first stone block, and we're going to go ahead and break this, followed by the stone upside down stair underneath it. We're going to go ahead and then uh, break a total of six blocks of this, so one, two, uh, so we have one, two, we have three, four, five, and six. So that whole section there is going to be broken out. We then want to go ahead and go to the inside here, we're going to go ahead and replace the inside wall here with quartz blocks so just as you can see I'm doing it right here like this and then we want to go ahead and place down these blocks here or replace them with the diorite walls and then we want to go ahead and then place down anvils here on top of them just like that there after we have that done on the bottom of these uh, diorite walls we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair on both sides like so and after we have that done there we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a quartz pillar block place it down on the side there like so and then around this block we're going to go ahead and grab black concrete or not black concrete but black coal or just block of coal and we're going to place down a block of coal around these wheels like so and then in the corner spaces there uh, we're going to take polished blackstone and just place down polished blackstone there in the corners like that to go ahead and make the wheels like this after that's all done there, uh, we want to go then take our quartz top slabs, place down one, two, three, four, five, six across the top there. And then taking our stone stairs, uh, we're going to place down a row of six of stone stairs across. So one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six in total. After that, we're going to then take our stone stairs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone ups and down stairs across. And we also want to go and place down a row of trapdoors. So one, two, three, four, five, six uh, iron trapdoors. And these trapdoors, we're going to go and take our debug stick and we're going to go and use the same technique we used before. So select it open, we're going to go and select to true. So it's going to open up each one of these trapdoors like that hanging on the side there. And on the very end here, on the side on the back of this upside down stairs, we're just going to place down light gray banners to go ahead and conceal it a little bit better. And once we have that all done there, that's pretty much going to do it for the rear landing gear. You're going to take the same thing, copy it over to the other side, and you'll have basically uh, the landing gear there for the back wheels all set up and complete. Anyways, with that, that's going to do it for the landing gear, and with that, the landed version of the aircraft. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and move on to the uh, loading ramp in the open configuration, and that right there will pretty much wrap up the tutorial for us. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the open loading ramp. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving into the rear landing ramp. Or loading ramp. To go ahead and get started for this, uh, we're going to be going ahead and breaking out our polished andesite. So everywhere we have this polished andesite, we're just going to go ahead and break this out on the inside here. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and open up this huge space into the rear of the aircraft. So we're just going to go ahead and break out all these polished andesite blocks. Like this. All the way until we get to our last section here. Our last section here, we're going to go ahead and just break the ones on the side. Like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down half slabs in their place. After we get to this point here, uh, we're going to then place down sl top slabs like this, so a row of three of top slabs that kind of drop down. Then we want to go ahead and place down three more additional rows of three, so one, two, and three. And then on top of this, we're going to place down four rows of three of half slabs. Then in the corners, grab our polished and full blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four for um, 
kind of part of the door that folds up like so. Now once we get to this point, for the landing ramp itself, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five of polished anesthetic top slabs, like this across. And then coming off the, that row of five, we're going to place down a row of five upside down stairs. So we have one, two, three, four, and five upside down stairs across. After that, coming off those stairs, we're going to go ahead and do another row of five. On top of these upside down stairs, we're going to place down a row of five of iron trap doors and then a row of five of polished nanosite slabs. And then I'm not going to do an interior for the build, so I'm going to leave that to you guys to uh, kind of figure up, figure out and set up for yourselves. But um, the ramp should be able to line up pretty good with the um, interior. Uh, but anyways, at this point here, after those stairs, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, row of iron trap doors underneath those stairs here. So we're going to do a row of five underneath these. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go then place down a row of five of top slabs across, row of five of slabs on top, and we then want to go ahead and place down a upside down row of stairs, then a regular row of stairs across of five, iron trap doors on top of that upside down row, and we're going to then place down a row of five of slabs, and then a row of five of iron trap doors like that for the ramp there. And then once we get to this point here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this stair here. We're going to then go up from the stair, or from the skeleton skull. One, two, three. Uh, iron bars up, and same thing over here. One, two, and three. Iron bars up, just like that. And once we get to this point, we're just going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves an anvil. And we're just going to place down an anvil here, where the stone top slab is. And same thing over here, just like that on both sides there for um, basically the little ramp. The kind of the mechanism that help pulls it up again not doing interior so you can go ahead and kind of refine the design in here a little bit better and uh, all that stuff but that for the most part is basically the ramp there for the c-130 and with that that's going to complete uh both my in-flight landed version and also the ramp extended versions here for the c-130 uh h hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put good use if you do end up using this build i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this being thing from a solid build to my channel wars video if you it does appear on any social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build you're free to fair projects you guys are working on overall um enjoy the build have fun and all that fun stuff um Definitely stay tuned for seeing some future variants of this aircraft, showing you guys how to take this design here and modify it into other versions uh, of the C-130 family, uh, such as the AC-130, EC-130, uh, the C-130J, and also the HC-130, um, all builds that will probably be coming sometime soon in the near future. So definitely stay tuned for that and uh, look forward to seeing some uh, uh, new kind of cool designs here for um, this aircraft. But anyways, that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.